Hi everybody, I am back with some planners in the shop. Yes, plaid is back. I wasn't going to do more plaid planners, but I had a very big, um, I don't know how to put it, but a lot of people were upset they didn't get their hands on one. A lot of people wanted me to make more. I was trying not to go and get more of the materials, but I did. So I had a little push by my husband to just go ahead and make some more. But what I did do, because I wanted to make a big batch, is, well, what I should say is I what I didn't do. I didn't make fully equipped planners. So, so these are just the covers with a bow dangle and pen and pen holder. So that I could make a big batch and not have to worry about, okay, now I have to get papers to fill these, you know, to make all the inserts and everything. So all they are are the covers with bow dangle, pen, and pen holder. Now I do have B6 Traveler's Notebooks in here and personal sized ring bounds. And there's going to be four rings and four TNs, but only two in each color scheme. So let's start with the sizes. Because you have to fill these yourself, I do want to give you the measurements of the inserts that go in here. And I do sell inserts that you have to print. So there are files and you, you know, download them after you've paid and then you have to print them out yourself. Or you can just go to Etsy shops, Civit shops and find some um, through there that will print it for you. Because I don't print and sell them. I only sell them within the planners, but since I'm not doing that this time around, um, or you could just make your own. You know, if you don't even need like calendars or any of that, you can just make your own. But the insert sizes that will fit my planners for the B6 Traveler's Notebook, it is the 5x7 inserts and um, the standard ring bound for mine will be 3.75 by 6.75 and just in case you want to get my kits I'm going to list two links down below for the two small kits that I have which just includes monthly um, weekly and lined and they are undated so um, but if you sh look around the shop I also have like mega kits with more stuff in it um, so anyway the links to these items will be down below this should be let's see one, two, I think four separate links um, because I do have them in two different colors. They're all right here. There's like eight of them. Uh, <clears throat> so I just love these. They're a little bit different as far as I think this one here because last time I used the white glitter, but I decided to go with the silver materials. And I did just pretty much everything here minus the the clips and the rings. Um, I believe everything is from Hobby Lobby. Oh, and the elastic too, but you can find that there too. Um, so let's just start with, I guess, Traveler's Notebooks. And then these right here, they're still sort of drying these bows, the little straps around them, but I'm going to start with those. Um, so this is Traveler's Notebooks and these two. So there's two Buffalo plaid B6 Traveler's Notebooks and two black and white check B6 Traveler's Notebooks. They're pretty much the same thing. I do sew these myself in my sewing machine. They're not perfect, perfect 100% because sometimes I do go astray and you would probably see it, you know, once you get this. So I never say they are perfect because in reality they're not, but they are handmade. <laughs> All right, so the bow dangle is this, the black and red um, buffalo plaid, and this one here has little pom-poms on it. Um, on the Traveler's Notebook, I hooked it here, but you can always move it around. You can hook it here. It's on a lobster clasp, and that's the back. So this is that material, like pleather kind of material. Um, and then, well, actually, this is more like pleather. This is kind of like a, I don't know, but you can wipe this down if it gets dirty black elastic and this is the inside so this silver is just so shiny it's almost like a mirror you got pockets on both sides and then four strands to put four booklets in here and then you're getting the pen um, that is a Hobby Lobby pen and then 
the pen holder it's elastic so that's pretty much it you stick this on to one of your inserts you can actually stick it on to here but I didn't want to do that because it will leave a mark uh, but if you're going to leave it on permanently just go ahead and stick it on there if you'd like but I'm not going to put it in because you don't want to because it will leave a little mark on there I will ship them out folded like this um, in the same the usual packaging that I always use the flat rate envelopes um, but the reason why I would send them out like this is so that they start to keep that shape like this because it just wants to naturally lay flat so there's two of those and then the buffalo plaid and if these bows come in all scrunched up or flat you can always fluff them out because they all have um, wire in them so the buffalo plaid has the gold metallic inside and out as far as the binder in the pocket and then the scraps from this I use for the centers this does not have the tail because this is a wider ribbon I just made the regular bow and dangle so that's how it looks and black elastic again that's the inside I'm going with the same glittery black canvas materials from Hobby Lobby for all of these planners they're all going to have the black elastic and then this time it has a gold pen holder same pen and there's two of those and again when you go to these links and if it doesn't go anywhere if it says oops or something like that then it's probably sold out that's why I wanted to make at least eight but I wanted to do at least two different types of planners okay so let's stick this over here then I have the ring bounds here and these are personal size ring bounds I'm only going to open the one this one here I put on the ring bounds I put the clips on the front because there's no other place here but that's how it looks and if you were to fill it and close it flat it's like this I actually like my bindings to kind of pass that middle most of the um, planners I've seen just have it just enough to cover that that's how I used to do it but I kind of like it to wrap around a little bit and then here's the bow clip same one like before but with the gold fixings and then inside is the gold six rings I use this Repesco that I got from Amazon which you can do several sizes here um, pocket agen agenda and a6 a5 personal which is the one you would use um, compact slim line blah 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 timer so uh, it's got a whole bunch of different ones you can just slide these over that's why I like this because this way I can make several planner sizes with the rings so this is the personal with the pen and the holder okay and then here is the black and white check pen and holder same thing just in silver with this bow hanging on the side or front everything is pretty much the same the cover sizes actually are the same height seven and a half but this one is I think eleven and a half length and then this one's twelve I mean the B6 is twelve in length so they're almost the same size covers the inserts are just going to be different and you do get a silver binder or rings to go with the silver in here also that's about it so these are in the shop right now the links to them are down below there are four make sure you click on the right one that you're interested in because there is B6 rings in the Buffalo check and the black and white and then B6 travelers notebooks I'm sorry I'm confusing myself B6 travelers notebook in the red or the white and then the rings personal size in the red or the white okay and that's it so thank you all for watching I will see you guys next time bye now